Our beautiful blue planet. It spins through the cosmos and is home to nearly 8 billion humans and one and a half billion cows. Some cows are pets and some are worshipped as divine bovines. The rest are livestock to feed us, clothe us, and make a wide array of products we use daily. But some cows have met an unknown yet brutal fate, and it's been happening as long as humans have domesticated cattle. Cow mutilations have occurred for centuries, and we are still not close to discovering what or who is doing them. Yes, some of them have been hoaxes as the owners attempt to gain attention, but there have been far too many to all be fake. Take, for instance, the towns of Jerome and Bliss, Idaho. A bizarre butcher has plagued both cities for decades. Locals have blamed cults, satanic practices, the government, coyotes, and even extraterrestrials. In this episode of Hidden Staircase, we will examine the clues and attempt to make our judgments based on the evidence. There is a culprit behind these killings. Is it a sacrifice to a deity? Or is our livestock being abducted by space aliens and pieced apart to study? Let's try to uncover the hidden truth. Reports of cattle mutilations began to skyrocket in the United States in the early 70s. Ranchers throughout the West and Midwest were suddenly finding their cattle dead drained of blood, their eyes, ears, organs, and genitalia removed with surgical precision. Tensions quickly rose among the ranchers as they fought over the possibilities of what happened. Theories like cults, witchcraft, satanic worship, extraterrestrials, and the federal government were the most popular. During the 70s, there were over 10,000 cattle mutilations and at least one human. They left locals near the incidents in fear. Was the government facilitating new biological weapons? Were there visitors from outer space coming to learn about our primary food source? Or is there a secret satanic cult of witches sacrificing cattle to appease their dark gods? As more and more cases began to appear, that fear quickly turned into anger. The ranchers were convinced that the government was coming to ruin them. Along with the limitations on grazing on public lands, the government also implemented a price freeze on meat and increased the feed price for the cattle after buying large amounts of grain. The ranchers seemed justified in their distrust of the government. But what about the other theories, such as the ones from the small Idaho towns of Bliss and Jerome? which was in one of the hardest hit areas for bovine butchery and one of the only human cases that occurred. The first two mutilations happened the same night, sometime in the early 70s. Two cattle belonging to two separate ranchers were killed. They were recorded under a cult killing, but the clues proved nothing. The cause of death for the cattle couldn't be found. Aside from a pinhole in one of the hips, there were no bullet holes or signs of a method of death, leading investigators to believe the cows had been poisoned. Both were drained of body fluid, but there were no signs of it around the corpses. No puddles, drag marks, or blood on the animal's fur. The ears, eyes, rectum, and genitalia were removed by surgical precision. No claw or teeth marks indicated a predator had removed them. Some of the incisions were so precise that hairs of the cattle were sliced in half, suggesting that very sharp instruments had to have been used. It had rained on the night of the killings, but there were no shoe prints or tire marks near the animals. One was even found beside one of the rancher's homes. He found it when he walked out the front door. The cult would have had to have kidnapped the animal, taken it to kill and mutilate secretly, and then returned the corpse 
right next to the sleeping rancher's home and leave it. All without leaving a footprint, tire mark, DNA, or fingerprints. One of the ranchers claimed that it was the second attack of its kind that he had experienced. His first was several months before and matched the new one precisely. He was no stranger to butchering and processing cattle, but even he stated that there were no bullet holes and virtually no marks you could see. Someone understands what they are doing. They've done it before. William said that the cuts were made with such a sharp instrument that the hairs on the animal were cut in two. Quote, I have skinned and butchered many cattle, and I can't even cut a hide of leather that perfectly. Somebody had a steady hand. Have you ever gone to TikTok to look up your symptoms and then stumbled down a rabbit hole full of questionable advice from so-called experts? There are better ways to get the answers you want and the care you deserve from trusted professionals and not random people on the internet. ZocDoc helps you find expert doctors and medical professionals that specialize in the care you need and deliver the type of experience you want. ZocDoc is the only free app that lets you find and book doctors who are patient-reviewed, take your insurance, are available when you need them, and treat almost every condition under the sun. Surprise twists might work for podcasts, but maybe not for medical care. With ZocDoc, there are no alarms and no surprises. Choose from thousands of patient-reviewed doctors and specialists, browse doctor profiles, Upload and verify insurance information and get the care you need. Go to ZocDoc.com slash Hidden Staircase and download the ZocDoc app for free. Then find and book a top-rated doctor today. Many are available within 24 hours. That's Z-O-C-D-O-C dot com slash Hidden Staircase. ZocDoc.com slash Hidden Staircase. Cattle weren't the only ones mutilated in the same area, though. Around that same time, a couple were camping in the Rabbit Creek area of Idaho. They had a camper and were frequent visitors in the area. One afternoon while hiking, they came upon an oddly field-dressed deer. There were no bullet holes or arrows. The breastbone had been precisely cut, and the entrails and blood were removed. There was also no evidence of human interference, such as prints or tire tracks. The husband, Fred Johnson, was an avid hunter and said that he had never seen anyone field dress a deer in that manner. It was a professional job, said Johnson, who added that the breastbone of the deer was cleanly cut with a very sharp knife. Johnson said that he had hunted deer for many years and described the deer as about a two-and-a-half-year-old doe. He examined the deer for cause of death and found no bullet holes or other wounds. He knew it was common for hunters to remove the blood and innards of the deer after a bullet or arrow shot them. It makes it lighter to carry and prevents the meat from being tainted. They are even known to field dress and leave the carcass while they go fetch their vehicles. But no one ever came to claim the deer. In the same area at the same time, three cows were also found dead. But this time, they were intact, but found floating in a nearby reservoir. It quickly became a case of public outrage throughout the United States. It went from unsolved cases of dead cattle into full-blown hatred for hippies, the government, and fear of alien interference. It became worse during the late 70s in 1979. Two hunters were walking in a remote wooded area and came upon the mutilated body of a man. He was found with only his underwear on and had his lips and genitalia removed. His bare feet were unmarked and clean, despite being in the rugged wilderness. 
there were no signs of his tracks into the area or from any other human, aside from the two hunters. After a massive search, his belongings were located several miles away. No clues were found about who he was, how he died, or how he ended up in the woods. To this day, throughout the heart of America's farmland, cattle are still being mutilated similarly, leaving ranchers and investigators scratching their heads with frustration. Reports of silver discs, silent helicopters, and even witnesses claiming they've seen the cows being abducted and blaming both extraterrestrials and the government for aiding and abetting them. The rest of the blame falls on predators such as coyotes, known to first eat their prey's soft parts. The problem is that even with a large pack, it would be nearly impossible for them to kill a fully grown cow, let alone with no signs of death. Most predators will go for the neck of their prey, but no teeth marks were ever discovered. Animal predators have evolved enough alongside humans to know the risk of killing a rancher's livestock. If humans are the culprit, they do it too, knowing that a rancher has the right to defend his property with deadly force. Who or what has been killing and mutilating cattle and humans in the Midwest in the U.S.? Is the government testing new biological weapons? Are extraterrestrials visiting and studying our food source? Or is there a cult with a bloodthirsty deity who demands it? There is proof to support every theory, but more is needed to prove which one is the culprit. So will the mysteries behind cattle mutilations ever come to light? Or will they remain down the hidden staircase? 